Welcome to our seventh annual review here at Harbury University. We're delighted to welcome record numbers to our annual review. This year, we'll be asking for your continued help and involvement in three of our key priority areas. We're on the cusp of beginning production of our very own local industrial strategy for Gloucestershire to drive forward our next period of growth. We're cracking on with delivery of our growth programme. Thanks to your help, we're making excellent progress right across Gloucestershire. And it's been another great year for Gloucestershire business with regards to the Queen's Awards. Our investment programme is worth around about half a billion pounds, a hundred million of which is from UK governments. The cyber opportunity for Gloucestershire is of international significance, not least of all because of the presence of GCHQ in the county, as well as the £22 million that we're investing in the UK cyber park in Cheltenham. Very, very pleased and very grateful for the support that Chief First have given to the city, not just with this project, but with a number of other projects as well. Without their support, it just wouldn't have happened. Agritech, following investments by G1st LEP, creates a great opportunity for growth and is unique to Gloucestershire. There is no doubt in Gloucestershire, thanks to the work of our Growth Hub team across the county, we now have the best business support in the country. We're very proud of the fact that as well as the capital investment programme, G1st LEP led development of a strategy for investing around £37 million of European funding. With your help, we wrote the strategy and now we're delivering the programme. With Brexit on the horizon, the question of what happens about that £37 million investment currently in Gloucestershire arises. And the government are about to consult on the potential replacement, the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. It's going to be absolutely vital that the voice of Gloucestershire's businesses are heard in that consultation and that we can continue to support important work to grow businesses and improve our economy. The LEP, led by business and in partnership with our public and voluntary sectors, are charged with leading the development of an industrial strategy for Gloucestershire, which will be our new business plan for growth. We want you to use that innovative and entrepreneurial spirit that we know is so strong in Gloucestershire to generate the ideas that will drive our economy forward. We'll be working with our business groups, our public sector partners, our industrial strategy expert group, and in particular, the county's young people to help define our local industrial strategy. The local industrial strategy will set our economic future. There are some unbelievable benefits coming to us from the future. There is career change coming for most of us in this room. Could your next employee be a digital human? Many companies in the world already have employees who are digital. You might be surprised to see that you can hire an AI solicitor today. I often talk to people who go, Yes, I think this change will come, but I've only got another 10 or 15 years to go before retirement, so I don't think it will affect me. Well, remember that Moore's Law curve, because we're on the steep bit at the moment. So we must thank the huge amount of work that our sector groups do to carry out on behalf of the Local Enterprise Partnership. We'd love more of you to get involved in our sector groups. And so our ask number one is to sign up today, come along to one of those sector groups, for a taster of the work that they carry out. Our youth will be the business leaders of the future. We all need to make the effort to engage our young people to achieve our county's potential. Now, our education team has transformed in the last 12 months, delivering and inspiring young people in schools across the county, but they really need your help. So ask number two is that you sign yourself and your organisations up to engage with our schools, volunteer, mentor, inspire our young people. None of what we achieve in Gloucestershire would be possible, of course, without all of you. The five big economic challenges we described at last year's annual review are still our five big economic challenges. Housing, employment land. Skills, a whole county approach. And by far our biggest challenge are demographics. We're absolutely committed in the LEP to doing everything we can to engage with our young people and to change our demographic picture. And so our third ask, we want you to sign up to give us your opinion on development of our local industrial strategy and to steer the future for your Gloucestershire. Thank you all so much for everything you do to support the LEP and to grow Gloucestershire. Thank you.